and the Darjeeling Himalayas. What is the orientation of Sikkim and Darjeeling Himalayas? The orientation of the Sikkim and Darjeeling Himalayas. The orientation is west to east. Yes, the orientation of the Sikkim and the Darjeeling Himalayas is west to east. A very important river. What is the important river here? A very important river is the Tista River. It is a tributary of the Brahmaputra. Okay. So, Zemu Glacier, tributary of Brahmaputra, it flows through two states. What are the states? The Sikkim and the West Bengal. It joins Brahmaputra in Bangladesh. River Rangit is the tributary of Tista. Okay. So, one of the important river is Tista River and the important the important peak here is the Kanchen Janga Peak. Is Kanchen Janga Peak recognized by under World Heritage Site? It is a it is a which which heritage site? It is a mixed World Heritage Site. Okay. Okay. So it is a mixed World Heritage Site. The World Heritage Site recognized under UNESCO. UNESCO recognizes the World Heritage Sites. It recognizes three types of sites. The three types of sites can be natural, cultural and mixed. Okay, India may only one mixed site is there. That is your Kanchen Janga. Okay, World Heritage Site. Then a very important name of the tribe here is your Lepcha tribe. The Lepcha tribe is found here. Okay. The Lepcha tribe is found here. One of the questions that has been asked in your UPSC examination, in your UPSC examination, they had asked that the development, the development of tea gardens, the development of tea gardens was up to, up to this Darjeeling Himalayas, was up to the Darjeeling Himalayas. I guess they had asked this in the mains examination of 2013. In your mains 2013, they had asked that the, the development of tea gardens have been up to Darjeeling Himalayas. Why is it so? There are important reasons for it. The important reason is there is a moderate slope. There is moderate slope. There is rainfall. Tea, tea would require, if you know, if you know the tea, tea crop, this needs a, the tea crop, it needs a slope because it cannot tolerate stagnating water. The tea cannot uh, tolerate the stagnating water. So if you know the conditions for the formation of the tea crop, the conditions for the formation of tea crop is, it will need a slope. Why? Because it cannot tolerate stagnating water. It cannot to uh, tolerate a stagnating water. The tea also requires well-distributed rainfall. It requires a well-distributed rainfall throughout the year. Throughout the year, it requires a well-distributed rainfall. Okay, yes, it, it requires shade. It requires shade. It requires high temperature. Okay. It requires high organic content. High organic content. And it requires warmer climate. It requires a warmer climate. It requires a warmer climate. Okay. So this is your plantation crop. So all these conditions, all these conditions have been favored have been easily available in the Darjeeling Himalayas and therefore they are famous for your tea cultivation. This has also been asked in your UPSC examination. Okay. So why, what are we talking? We are talking about the Sikkim Himalayas. In the Sikkim Himalayas, we said the orientation is west to east. Tista river flows through it. There has been tribes like the Lepcha tribe and there has been development of tea gardens up to Darjeeling. And the reason is the pattern, the conditions for the tea crop. 
another thing that you can write this down is t c the shivaliks the shivaliks are not well developed they are not well developed theek hai what are shivaliks shivaliks they are uplifted fluvial deposits right uplifted fluvial deposits so uplifted fluvial deposits so these uplifted fluvial deposits they are not well developed theek hai they are not well developed and instead of shiva so if they are not well developed shivaliks if they are not well developed what will happen to the sediments what will happen to the sediments the sediments will remain here only the sediments will remain here only theek hai they are not uplifted so sediments will the fluvial sediments the fluvial sediments will remain here only theek hai because they are not uplifted they are not well developed there is thick accumulation there is thick accumulation of the sediments of the fluvial deposits of the fluvial deposits at the foothill of himalayas at the foothill at the foothills of himalayas at the foothills of himalayas there is a thick accumulation of the sediments and these thick accumulation of the sediments what do we call them we call them as duar they are called as duar okay duar what does duar means duar means gateway they they are called as the gateway they are called as the duar and they are called as gateway they are also important for your tea gardens they are your tea gardens these are nothing but the thick deposits of the sediment at the foothills of himalayas the thick deposition of the sediment at the foothill of himalayas they are called as duar that is gateway duar is mostly on the eastern side why not on the western side because in the western side the sediments would have been uplifted uplifted to form shivaliks so in the western side ye jo sediments hai they would have been uplifted to form what they would have been uplifted to form shivaliks